Hey guys, I'm back again uh, to show you how to fix your indicator lights, your turn signals, if they're going out on a 99G Pringle. So, let's start real quick. If one of your lights do that, it's because it's out. Either the bulb is bad, or the socket's bad, the wiring's bad, something's going on with it. But we'll see here. My left one works. And my front one doesn't. So we'll go ahead and go through the process here. First thing you want to do is know where your turn signal is. It's in the front on the Jeep. You'll need, if it's factory, you'll need a star screwdriver. I couldn't tell you what size. But take these out. Like always, lay them to the side before you don't lose them. Zeus. Zeus. dropped so since you got both screws out go ahead and take this housing out and one bad thing I don't want to say bad thing one thing you should know this cover does not come off what you have to do you have to move this socket here you have to twist it to take it off as you can see. All right, so here's your main turn signal. And this is the one that was not working. And as you can see, the bulb is good. So we have a different problem. So let me lay it down so I can get the bulb out. Okay. So now, Here's the sockets. The wires are still in. And everything looks good back through there. The next thing you should do is go ahead and turn on your Jeep. And you're looking for one of these. It's a circuit tester. You can pick them up at Advanced Auto Parts for, I think I got this one for five, six dollars. Very cheap. Useful for many things. So you want to go ahead and ground it. And I just grounded mine right here. As you can see. Then you want to test the main socket part. Just hold it in your hand and touch the metal that's in here. And as you can see, no lights coming on. So, the next thing you wanna do is take this part off. And as you can see, there's little tabs right there that you push in. So get your pocket knife or whatever you have that can go in there and take them out. So, be right back.
All right, so we have this piece out. Now we have the male end of it. So get your circuit tester again. Test it out. Hold on. Oh, and as you see, we got light. So, we know the problem is this little socket right here. And I can go ahead and tell you, in my area, these are kind of hard to find. Uh, I went to a couple of junkyards, some different parts houses. But I finally was able to track one down at CarQuest. They're about, I see I got this one for about eight bucks, I believe. So that's the new one. As you can see, the exact same piece. So we'll go ahead and pop this bad boy on here. If I can learn how to hold my camera right. Pop that in there, and what I, what I like to do is go ahead and check, check it with the circuit tester, and we have light. There we go. So go ahead and grab your bulb right here. It's not wise to not have anything on your hands. But look at that, lights already trying to come on. So, let's go back here and make sure the turn signals work. Looks normal. Working. And working. So we can go ahead and turn our Jeep off. And go back to putting everything back up. So, hold on. First thing you want to do is make sure the lights in there are good and the sockets are connected. And go ahead and put this back on the housing. Grab your screws. And I always hand start my stuff just so I know it's not getting cross surgery or anything. You can do the way you like to or have somebody else do it, but if you have a Jeep, I would recommend working on it yourself because it makes it more yours. Like I don't know much at all about any kind of mechanic work. I know the basics and electric work. I believe the basics. And really, just uh, when you have free time, get out here on your Jeep and play around with it and see what happens. Because if something does happen that you break it, you're still relatively cheap to make or to fix. So there you go. And the way I do it, the way if I change my t turn signals or anything, I just grab and twist there and pull it out because I don't have my fender flares. I'm waiting to paint it. And plus I, I kind of like the look of, them, of it without the fender flares. Zeus. Zeus, good boy, good boy, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and 
give her some power again. Alright, didn't screw anything up, put it back together. And the turn signal still works. Alright guys, I hope this video helps you out a lot. Uh, like I said, the other ones, please like, subscribe if you like what I'm putting out. And if you have any questions or want me to do any other videos, leave me a message uh, through YouTube, comment. I think I have uh, my Facebook and my Jeep Forum profile on my YouTube page, so check me out. See y'all later.